It is 7.52. Uh, welcome on in. If you're just joining us, we're making scarecrows this morning, uh, but for a great cause. We've got Kat Crippel, Renee Menard both joining us. Uh, ladies, let's talk about the cause behind all of this. It's so Family one. Promise is a homeless shelter. We work with homeless families in the Cadiana area. And what we do is when a family comes in, we look at what brought them to homelessness and we try and figure out how we can fix those problems, teach them maybe some new lessons on, right. you know, budgeting, financing, uh, you know, even how to grocery shop responsibly. And then we find them housing and the job and put them back into, you know, normal everyday life. Right, and I know a lot of folks have heard of Family Promise, but this particular, you have a fundraiser that's coming up, which is, we have to name her, by the way. I, I know, say, I which is the coming, whole point yes. of, <laughs> Got to have uh, a name. That's for right. those interested in helping out or partaking, tell us a little bit about it. So it's Dining Under the Stores. It's an annual fundraiser. It's at the home of Harold and Sarah Scheffler. It is October 27th. It starts at 6. Tickets are $100 a person or 75 for a couple. But if you donate a scarecrow, it, you'll get two tickets with your $75 entry fee. That's and great. again, we'll be selling the scarecrows as part of the fundraiser. Okay, love this so very much. And then if, that's where, of course, Miss Kat Crapel comes in because I don't know how she comes up with it, where she finds it, but we've been working on this particular Susie I don't know what uh, do we Susie's call it? good uh, um, I could do better we could say that she's from Scare and Crow too she's from <laughs> Scare and Crow and wait but anyway she started out as an ironing an board. ironing yeah. board so, did you uh, you did paint this obviously yeah okay. uh, well my husband thank goodness for my he's husband he's the best yeah I know he really is amazing <laughs> but anyway so we just sprayed it spray painted her face and then of course the body wait. it just made it easier and then we just came in with the little sponge paint with white dots to make her a polka dot dress and now we can add any kind of bling that you want, either, you know, the stuff that you can glue on. Um, of course, we're gonna give her some necklaces, <laughs> things like oh, that. So These great. are eventually gonna be her arms and we're gonna make a little basket with flowers in it so that she can hold her basket of flowers. So this one was really easy, just a lot of stuff. These are my dog food can, my uh, dog's food cans <laughs> that oh. we painted. Yeah, so a, a lot of this stuff we already have at Rodney House, and again, her braids were once This is great. A hula, yeah. hula, hula skirt for children. And I just kind of <coughs> covered it up and then cut her some bangs and put her in a braid, spray painted her red, and now she's she's ready to go gardening. And you make it look all so easy. It, this you actually really was do. very easy, you I have say to that, say. But, yeah. Uh, the yeah. rest of us are like, wait. Uh, no, such a cute <coughs> idea. Yeah. Love it so much. Again, for a great cause. Uh, coming up here, you said you are going to add her arms. We're going to add her arms. And then we have another one that we're going to do using <coughs> basically scarves, scraps of fabric, oh, those kind of things. All stuff that you have around the house. Right. PVC pipe or dowels. Perfect. Sounds wonderful. Uh, we are going to continue to work on Susie for now. <laughs> we're going to call her Susie. But stay with us. Uh, more News 15 today coming your way.